Hey Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what messages are coming up for you. This is going to be a, uh, a general reading, but it's a reading for those of you that will resonate with it the most. Um, don't force fit it if it's not your reading. Perhaps you might be interested in a personal reading. Feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. bottom of the deck is the king of swords um, you've got some wonderful cards here but the king of swords energy i feel like he's asking you to confront your truth there's something here that i feel like in your energy that needs confronting it needs resolving it needs working through there's a truth that i feel like you have to face you cannot run away from this truth because this truth, it can chase you and it, and it can outrun you. It will not leave you. There's some sort of pain in the energies. There's some sort of heartbreak, an emotional anguish, a separation. Or there's something here that's really bothering you. You're trying to, you're trying to put it behind you. Or you're tr maybe you're trying to pretend like it's not hurting you or it's not bothering you. Um, but it's there and it's very present in your energies and it needs healing it's going to be very cathartic and it's going to be very therapeutic when you have that when you confront the truth when you have that open and honest conversation whether it's with the other person that's involved or the other several people that are involved or whether it's having that conversation with yourself because you can run but this thing can outrun you this thing can out the truth can outrun you even faster so it will catch up to you sooner or later so whatever it is stop running from it let it catch up to you and face your truth have that conversation that you need to have with that person because it may not necessarily change things between the both of you but it might help to resolve an issue or it might help to dull the pain a little bit but there's something here that i feel like a conversation that needs to happen or a truth that needs to be addressed or an issue that needs to be confronted or resolved Okay, and the King of Swords is is the energy that that is embodying that. The King of Swords wants you to take on his energy and to get to the heart of things, to get to the matter. I also see that there is some new beginnings being indicated for you here. It could be a new beginning in love and romance, in relationships. It could be a new friendship. It could be that there's something here that you are going to start out. And it's something that you're going to be very passionate about. Something that's um, like it's driving you. It's motivating you. It's inspiring you to be the person that you are aligning yourself with. Um, or to finally chase that dream or chase that goal. The Ace of Wands is an inspiration. There is... There's something here that I feel like is being ignited in you. There's something here that is you're being called to or you're attracted to. There's some sort of offer or an opportunity. It can come in the form of a letter, an email, a work opportunity, a phone call, a person that connects you to someone who can help you. But there's some opportunity that is being presented to you or that is showing up in your life here. I feel like this opportunity doesn't come around very often and I feel like for some it's an opportunity that is disguised itself as work but there's so much growth attached to and potential attached to this opportunity it could also be a new uh, romantic energy that is showing up in your life okay someone who shows up in your life and you'll instantly feel a lot of attraction towards this person someone whom you're very attracted to maybe they're not like the best looking but there's definitely something about them that's very charismatic energetic that's very attractive like you you feel really excited you feel excited to hear from this person you feel excited to see this person you feel really alive when you're around this person 
they've got a very great energy to them they've got a very great vibe and you have a lot of strong chemistry with this person um, if this person is already in your life the cards might be indicating that it may be worthwhile for you to explore this opportunity explore this connection and see if there's like more to it see if there's potential for for this to become more than what it is which i feel like is at a stage where it's like maybe you're just getting to know each other or even if you've known this person for a long time like you've never really it's kind of like surface level you've never really decided to give this a go um, for whatever reason um, it's always just been more of a physical attraction rather than anything more but the cards might be saying that there may be opportunity for you to explore this connection for you to get to know one another and just see if you can build on it from there because it may have started out as an attraction but it may grow into something so much more otherwise i feel like there could be an opportunity that shows up for you there's an opportunity shows up for you and for some of you i feel like you may even hesitate you may hesitate because i don't know if you're in if you're going for an interview or if you're applying for a job or if you're like seeking some sort of opportunity I feel like some of you are scared because you're scared because it's exciting but it's also a little bit scary or a little bit daunting because it's maybe it's really new maybe it means that you're going to start all over again maybe it means that you don't really have the necessary skill set for this I don't know but there's a part of you that's hesitating you're hesitating because I don't know maybe it means you have to start over to the person that's hesitating whether it's a work opportunity or some sort of personal endeavor whether it's you know um exploring a new connection to the person that's hesitating just be mindful that oftentimes hesitation can lead to inactivity oftentimes those that hesitate end up waiting and end up missing the opportunity it passes them by and i feel like this is some sort of, like whoever this person is or whatever this is for you this is something that you've been waiting for so when it finally shows up in your life why are you hesitating i think it scares you i think because there's so much newness that's attached to this energy and I think it's because of this buddy right here, because it's a new beginning, because it's there's a lot of uncertainty, there's a lot of unpredictability, because it means that you're going to have to push yourself outside of your comfort zone. And comfortable and comfort zones are comfortable for a reason. Because they're predictable, because they're safe, they're a safe bet. Because there's no newness to be found there. There's no uncertainty, there's no unpredictability. Outside of your comfort zone is where all the growth is. That's why you're scared, because you don't know what's outside the comfort zone. And if you take a look at the fool's energy, I mean, he's dubbed the fool, but let's be real. He's really the most enlightened out of the whole deck. After all, it is his journey. It's the fool's journey. Notice how he's completely, like, oblivious and he's about to launch himself off the cliff there's a myth that goes something like this because of his like complete trust in himself and because of his trust in the universe because he just has this trust that everything will work out the cliff tends to regenerate beneath his feet i say that to say this you don't have to have it all figured out you don't need to see the whole staircase just take that first step you don't need to know what lies ahead and that's part of the excitement of it all because you don't know because it's unpredictable because it's uncertain because it can take you by surprise so to the person that's hesitating to the person that feels like they need to have it all figured out or they need to have a blueprint or a map or something there in front of them i get it i get where you're coming from but be careful because this opportunity, whatever this is, might not come around 
very often. And you know what? It's an opportunity that will make you feel alive. I feel like there's something that you have worked on or you have been working on that I feel like you're becoming really good at it. Uh, and for some of you, maybe this is something that you're going to... Maybe this is a new area of work. Maybe it's a business you're going to start. Maybe it's like a, a, a side hobby. But I think I see it generating an income. I see it turning a profit. I feel like it's something that's going to become profitable. And I think it's something that's going to really take off. It's going to start off very small. Like it's something, it's something that you enjoy. It's a passion. It's a hobby. And it's something that you start out as a passion or as a hobby. But it's going to like snowball into something, into like a future business or like a brand. Or it's going to go big. Um, you know you've got you've got success indicated in the cards for you here I feel like there's some sort of successful endeavor that lies in wait for you I think that whatever it is that you're seeking is also seeking you um, I feel like there's something here that you've been wanting or there's something that you've been thinking about and I think it's this thing that you're hesitating about because it scares you and it's new and it's exciting and it's unfamiliar and you just don't know. You just don't know whether it's going to work out or not. And you know what? There are no guarantees. Like, there are no guarantees. The cards aren't guaranteeing you anything. There's no guarantees in life. Um, there's no guarantees that it's going to work out or that it's even going to work out at all or even how you imagine it. There is this energy of this being an experience and a successful one. And I feel like if you don't take advantage of whatever this is, you may not get this opportunity again. Or not for another long time. So sometimes when you say no, you don't know what it is that you're saying no to. And, you know, also sometimes when you say yes, you don't know what it is that you're saying yes to. But this feels like it's an opportunity of a lifetime. I don't know. I feel like this feels like it's going to move you forward in a very big way. Especially for those of you that resonate with feeling stuck in life. If you feel like you've been stuck, if you feel like life has been stagnant, if you feel like everyone and everything around you is moving but you're like at a standstill, this is your opportunity to get on board the moving train. This is your opportunity to get things going, to get unstuck. You only, you only feel this way because you're keeping yourself stuck. Because by not taking any action, you stand still. By deciding to take a leap of faith, by deciding to take a risk, be it a calculated risk, but by, by deciding to take a risk, you'll propel yourself forward in leaps and bounds. Alright guys, and these are your messages. Thanks for watching and listening. Please show your support to the channel. Keep shining your light. Bye for now.